Hi, I'm Mia. And this is Bob. We have been working on converting our Ford Transit for the last year. And at last, she is habitable enough for us to embark on our life of adventure. Join us for the highs. We did it! <laughs> Lows. That was probably one of the most stressful, difficult and disastrous drives of my life. And unexpected aspects of van life. As we brave the unknown and discover new horizons. Yeah, next pose, yeah! We have just made it to Hay on Wye after coming down from the Gospel Pass. I was very reluctant to leave the Gospel Pass, it's absolutely beautiful and I'm hoping that someday in the near future we can pass a night there because I think that would be amazing. Sounds good, it sounds good. Um, where we are now is a car park but you're allowed to stay one night every seven in a camper van or caravan type thing. Um, which is great, and we're in Hay on Wye, and it happens just by chance. We didn't plan this, but there's a festival on right now um, where they celebrate books and reading and such. So we're going to go and see if the pubs are happening. Yeah, see if we can uh, get a beer and a book. Beer and a book. Beer and a book. Midget my eye. So we arrived in Hay, and we were like, oh, there's supposed to be a festival. Just our luck. We didn't even know it was happening. And so we walked around Hay Village, and we were like, not much is happening here, there's not a lot of food going on, food was very important, um, and we were a bit like, what's going on? Bob did a bit of research and it turns out that the festival ground isn't actually in the village, it's down the road. And we're going to try and find the festival and give it a scout, because tomorrow we want to go to a place, do you know what it's called? Oh, I can't remember it. Da. But look, da, it's literally perfect. out here saying, hey, hey festival's this way. So we're off to scout it out to see if it's any good because if it is we want to go there in the morning because there's a place that does coffees and patisseries and 80% of their um, menu is vegan! Go. Hello. 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 Go on. Hello. Hello. This place looks absolutely amazing. There's food places, there's loads of vegan options, there's loads of bars, there's a well-being tent. Literally not making it up. We can literally hear live music going on. Hopefully you can pick that up. This place looks absolutely sick. We cannot back wait to come back tomorrow. But we thought we'd make the trip worthwhile. And we're going to go have a drink. Lovely stuff. Anything you want to add, my lover? No, I can just see the bar, so we'll mm. see you in a bit. Bye. We have come back this morning to the Hay Festival and it is buzzing. I have bought two books and I have spoken to a woman who makes her own clothes, which is just awesome. Rob, opinions I, of the festival? I've come away with several beers, which seems pretty standard for me at this point. Oh yeah, we made friends with the people who make the beer and we're going to go see their farm at some point because um, I've got their email, so that sounds like a free park for night. Yeah, yeah, Very exciting yeah. stuff. Wolfers Brewery will be visiting them later. This is just the most amazing festival considering that Hay is such a small village. It's absolutely beautiful here. I love it. And I look like an absolute tourist because I'm vlogging at the same time. But here we are. That's, that's a new experience. Yeah. But look at it. It's a huge little wild. Stunning. Mini Glastonbury, I'd say. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, something book, like that. Book Glastonbury.
Charlie play and Borgies? With coriander on the side because it's the devil's leap according to me. There. That's Bob's special box. We have a new van friend. How? Mr. Caterpillar. How did you get here? back from the Hay Festival and we went to have a read and a chill in our van. I think you might have had a little nap. I stayed awake, but I would have been asleep if we hadn't left the very minute we left. Bob said, oh I think it's time to go out, get some fresh air, have a walk about. And Hay does not disappoint. The city centre, well, the village centre right now is heaving. There's loads of lovely tourists and lovely dresses and shirts walking around having a brilliant time. The queue for the ice cream parlour is endless. Expensive. Yep. <laughs> and um, everyone's doing a boring trade which is absolutely lovely. And we've just stopped off at Cozy Coffee House. Cozy Cafe. We're trying to read the yeah, signs. Um, and it's absolutely lovely. We found a fruit bag as well which has been on our tonight. It's very good news. Good spot, Bobby. So let's see what other exciting, exciting events we're just going to stumble into because we had no idea this was happening. So uh, let's see what goes on now. Join us next week as we head to Penny Fan and discover if we're strong enough to make it to the top. Chasing after Bobby. So we're going down the road through Midge Alley. Look. Look. So we are back from the festival. We have chilled out in our van. Why is it the second most unfortunate in the motorway? 
Um, so, now I've got a dead flower on my head. I'm gonna start this again.